Okay, what we have here is a stock 86 to 97 Mustang fuel tank. We've cut away a portion of the tank so that you can see what's happening inside your gas tank when you run a high volume pump on the stock Mustang fuel pump hanger. We've got five gallons of fuel in the tank. It's a 15 gallon tank, so that's a third full. We have our fuel pump hanger connected to six AN lines which are going to a fuel pressure regulator. That fuel pressure regulator is set to 40 PSI so that we can replicate pretty much exactly what's going on in your Mustang. So let's turn on the pump. So what you saw there was fuel coming out of the return tube on the stock fuel pump hanger spraying onto the surface of the fuel in the gas tank and aerating that fuel. Now, why is that a problem? Well, the fuel pump is now going to pick up aerated fuel and that aerated fuel is going to cause a lean condition. It's also going to cause your pump to cavitate, which is going to cause fluctuations in fuel pressure. These things are very difficult to tune around. We'll get to that a little later. What I'd like to show you next is the Pro-M Racing fuel pump hanger used with a variety of different pumps and how the Pro-M Racing Hanger solves that aeration and cavitation issue. This is a 255 liter power pump on the new Pro-M Racing fuel pump hanger. And the difference between our hanger and the original one is that we use 3 8 lines for both the feed and the return, which eliminates the restrictive quarter inch return line on the original hanger. We also use 6 AN fittings so that your AN lines hitch right up. And our return tube goes all the way down to the bottom of the baffle, which eliminates that aeration and cavitation problem, which we're going to demonstrate here right now by turning on the pump. So here we go. Look at that, big difference. Okay, and we are at 40 PSI. So this is a 340 liter per hour pump, very popular these days, mounted on the Pro-M Racing Hanger. And again, you'll see when I turn the fuel pump on, there's no aeration and our fuel pressure is still at 40 PSI. So let's go ahead and turn the pump on. And as you can see, everything still looks good. And our fuel pressure is at 40 PSI. So here's the big Walboro 400 liter per hour pump still on the Pro-M Racing fuel pump hanger. Uh, you'll see when I turn the fuel pump on that there's still no aeration and that the fuel pressure is still at 40 PSI. So let's go ahead and turn the pump on. And as you can see, everything still looks good. And our fuel pressure is at 40 PSI. So we've now demonstrated to you the difference between the Pro-M Racing Hanger and the original Ford Hanger and how the Pro-M Hanger eliminates the aeration and cavitation problem associated with the original Ford Hanger. But I also keep showing you the fuel pressure. I'm doing that for a reason. I want to show you that reason now. I'm going to turn on the pump. So you saw that the fuel pressure was now up around 46, 47 PSI, and if you looked carefully, you saw that the needle was actually bouncing around a little bit. I want to make it clear, we did not adjust the fuel pressure regulator. It's adjusted exactly the same way it was when it had the Pro-M Racing hanger on it. However, the stock Mustang fuel pump hanger has a quarter inch return line. It is not able to flow 255 liters per hour, never mind 340 or 400. We have the hanger connected to the fuel pressure regulator with 6A in line, and certainly both the line and the regulator are up to the task. But when the return line in the hanger becomes a restriction, it in effect becomes the regulator, and the regulator can no longer do its job. You saw the needle bouncing, and that's because the fuel pump is picking up air bubbles, and it's causing it to cavitate, which is going to make the fuel pressure fluctuate. You will have to tune around all of these things if you use the stock Mustang hanger. You can certainly drop the fuel pressure by turning the adjustment screw on the regulator, and that will create the illusion that everything is working okay, but it is not. The fuel pressure regulator is still not able to do its job properly. Your fuel pump is still cavitating, 
and you're still getting air bubbles into your engine. So your fuel injectors are now going to be spraying a mixture of air and fuel rather than straight fuel and this is going to create a lean condition. Furthermore, because your fuel pressure regulator can't properly do its job, we're not able to maintain the constant 40 PSI delta P in the fuel injectors so critical to engine management. So can you tune around these things? Not really. What you're going to find is that the longer the fuel pump runs, the more correction is necessary to maintain the proper air to fuel ratio. Bottom line is, a properly designed fuel supply system is critical to engine management, and the Pro-M Racing fuel pump hanger goes a long ways towards getting you there.